John Stewart, okay? John Stewart's story comes out. I think it's a New York Post story, mm-hmm. page 11, if you guys want to go to it. Okay. So John Stewart found to have overvalued his New York City home, Alina, mm-hmm. by 829%. What? After labeling Trump's civil case not victimless, John Stewart criticized Trump's civil case over inflated property value, stating this has never been prosecuted in response to experts framing the case as non-harmful. It was revealed that Stewart's Tribeca duplex sold for $17.5 million in 2014, a staggering 829%, more than an assessed value at $1.882 million. Internet sleuths uncovered Stewart's property history, leading to accusations of hypocrisy Stewart's penthouse sale price after exceeded, far exceeded its assessed value, raising questions about his own benefit from overvaluation with political commentator Tim, Tim, Tim Poole alleging did John Stewart commit fraud when he sold his penthouse for $17.5 million. If if that's the case, Rob, is this the clip or what? what is this here? This is a clip of John Stewart talking about the civil fraud case and how it's not a victim. Yeah. So oh my how God. different is this case versus what they're accusing Trump of doing? I... I, I, I <laughs> I don't even know where to start with it. You almost turned into Anderson Cooper. Right I now. almost. I, d- 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm so angry by watching that. I actually hadn't seen that. I heard the story. Um, it's no different. But the reality is that Trump actually didn't. If anything, his properties were undervalued. He put Doral at some uh, uh, a couple. Hundred, I don't even remember the numbers. But Doral's worth uh, way more than it was on there. I mean, the statements were actually undervalued. And and. His statements were prepared by an accountant, accounting firm, not a small accounting firm, a major accounting firm who put a cover sheet saying, do your own due diligence, folks. But this is what we estimate we're worth, Mm. just like anybody in New York. It's like, okay, let's even say in some made up land, the numbers were high, which they weren't. Let's say that. okay? then you got. A sheet that says right on the front, excuse me, do your own due diligence. On top of that, who's President Trump going to? Deutsche Bank. He's right. You know what, John Stewart, the only thing that was right? You're right. He went to Deutsche Bank. He didn't go to a mom and pop. He went to one of the highest regulated banks to get to get loans that he actually didn't need. It was solely because of, you know, mortgage. It's what you do. It's how you make money. It's better to have a mortgage sometimes when you don't need it. And they got paid off early. They made money. OK. And who is the victim? Now, in his case, I want to see what they do with it. Is he going to be investigated for three years? Where are you, Tish? Yeah. Where are you at? Yeah. You're going to go after your own? No one is above the law. Yeah. Show me. Yep. Exactly. Show me. And by the way, we can help her. If Letitia James is watching. That clip should be used <clears throat> in her case against him. By 100%. the way, let me help you, Letitia. Yeah. You should play that video. I'm sure you'll be allowed to play videos. I'm not, but you will. You know, let's see it happen. Yeah. Let's see. No one is above the law. I, I can't. When I hear that, the hypocrisy in that statement. Uh, uh. Show me. 829% overvalue of his New York City home. And that's a personal profit. Why don't they use the same consumer statute against him like they used against Trump? Is John Stewart actually going to court for this? No, no, not, no, not yet. No, but no. I'm happy to assist. Yeah. Sure. No, not yet. <laughs> no, no. This is just showing. Assess was 1.88 yeah. or whatever the number, and it sold for 17 or 18 and a half. I think that they're that, saying that was he the got number. he got yeah. It, it, look, we're highlighting the hypocrisy. Well, it's all hypocrisy. It's hypocrisy. It is, and, and it's uh, and again, let's let, double you, standard. You nailed it. And let's talk about John Stewart for a second. He's a shill for the left. Still. Trump derangement syndrome at the highest. He had to come out of retirement just to talk shit about Trump for this year, for election year, because nobody was watching The Daily Show. Wait. Nobody. Let's be honest. Nobody, nobody. watches it. Nobody Period. Watched. And that victim that you're talking about, I mean, don't get me wrong. I hadn't talented. even seen it. I, I don't watch none of that crap. But uh, that victim, remember the victimless? The victim, John Stewart's victim? Whoever paid uh, Yeah, lost $4 million on that deal. Yeah. And you nailed it. Letitia James will help you. He shoots out of New York. The address is on New York 11th <laughs> Ave and 52nd what, what is Street. That? That's the what? That's where John the... Stewart's Daily Show, they shoot there. Oh, okay. Go get him. Go get him. So I want, at least I want the people to understand, guys. That's it's taxpayer them. dollars. That's okay, them. you want to talk taxpayer dollars? Let's talk taxpayer dollars. Yeah. The Trump organization, Donald Trump, creates thousands of jobs. Yep. Thousands of jobs. They pay hundreds and hundreds of millions in employment taxes mm. to the state of New York. Do you know what you just did, Tish? You are running businesses. The Trump organization that makes the city money. More money than you will ever make in a judgment. Yep. 
You are, that's year after year. You're pushing businesses out of the state of New York. The John Stewart's of the world, the talking heads, the silliness, the silliness for politics. You are hurting the state of New York mm-hmm. because people are watching and don't tell, who here has not heard from somebody in New York? I'm getting the hell out. Everybody, the majority of the people that I've talked about, well, except for the ones that are in their little bubble that, you know, like uh, Robert De Niro, who, who when, what, when they asked him, like, hey, what's up with this crime? The, the National Guard. He's like, yeah, I, I don't see it yet because you're guarded. Your drivers you're driving guarded here. with people with guns. Yeah. So you don't see it. But again, and, I, and I've been saying this for a while, uh, Alina, until it spreads and it starts hitting them. Like with anything, with the open border, until one of their kids, yeah. God forbid, something happens with their kids or their family where an illegal does something to them, then and their tune stays the same. But wait until it starts happening to them. No, but even when that happens, they'll somehow blame Trump. Oh, for That's sure. what they do. They'll say, that, that, well, Trump didn't finish building the wall. Yeah, well, why didn't he finish building the wall? Yeah. Because you wanted to mess around with an election, bring in millions and millions and millions of people illegally mm-hmm. so that they now let's give them all voting rights and let's give them 10 grand. Oh, yeah. Guess what? I just went overseas last week. I came in and I go, oh, wait a minute. I have to give my passport to customs. Why? Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. I go, why? And are you going to give me a credit card for 10 grand? Mm-hmm. I'd like one. Please. Please. And a phone. And a phone. And I would like somebody to get kicked out of, of a hotel in New York so that I can stay for free. Mm-hmm. Yeah, veterans. Which, by the I way, I can no longer remain in today's Democratic Party. Tulsi Gabbard says she is no longer a Democrat. A potential Tulsi Gabbard VP. Where we are being told that we just have to comply and go along with whatever they say. American people uh, are smarter than this. However, we must remain vigilant to recognize their propaganda for what it is, pure lie. Unfortunately, we live in a time where free speech is under attack. Whatever they say goes and we, we have to just fall. And the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor, you owe them an apology. <laughs> on a debate stage before I would look forward to doing that again. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.